Hello, wonderful people. So what I'm working on now is I'm gonna make a tray. I didn't wanna bore you guys with the cuts. So I cut this, sanded it down, got that slit in there. I cut this piece and these two little pieces are gonna go right here. So now what I'm gonna do is take the Dremel. We're gonna try to clean this up a little bit. And uh, eventually we'll be ready to pour it. See how it comes out. All right, so I'm going to stop right here. I've got some pieces. These pieces that you're seeing right here, they're actually calcified on there. They're not going to come off, so I'm not really worried about that. I kind of like the wood. I want the wood to look like it does right now. I don't want to do a lot to it because I want that effect to come out in the resin. So I'm going to get a smaller bit. I'm going to get in here and get some of these little crevices. It's going to be a rough pour, but I'm up for the challenge. So I will be back in a few. all right beautiful people so this is what we're going to do this is how it's going to be set up these pieces are going to be floating in here these slabs here this will all be resin i think this is going to look absolutely incredible i'm going to have resin along the edges i want something because this wood is really it's a really holy piece of wood <laughs> so i need a lot of resin in there to kind of bond it keep it together we're going to have some around the outside edges so the next step we'll be bringing to you shortly bye guys hello wonderful people look at what we're doing what are we doing we are mixing black which i'm showing you just resin just resin pigment pigment paste no sparkle today which is shocking shocking we're going to make this elegant so I have 64 ounces of deep pour mixed up. So that's our form. Got her all locked down so nothing will float. All right. You ready? Yeah. All Let's right. Here, here we go, folks. Mrs. Glitz is getting ready to pour. I hope you measured right. I hope you picked the right color. Ah, I wanted to go like a purple iridescent. She wanted black. Somehow we gotta get all these little holes filled in. I guess we're going over the wood to do it. Man, you just pour that stuff. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> we're going to have to push it into our... I don't think you measured right. We're going to need more. Hmm. I measured till the water came up over the wood, just like you told me. It was probably floating. Uh, and right. here we go. I think I made way too much this time. But that's okay. We'll use it.
next step is flattening this down, but we don't have a planer that wide. It's 20 inches wide. So he has built himself a router sled. I what? What'd you do? I done put some wood together. <laughs> so we're just clamping it down to the table so he can adjust it. And uh, we'll get this nice and flat. What are we doing? We're flattening. Clamping wood. We done clamping wood. You are on. Hi guys. Okay, it's what are you my doing? turn. So this is the back. I, I see know. the front. It's beautiful. This is the front and we decided to do a tray. So we have a couple handles and then he rounded this edge so we could do a nice flood coat and make it really, really pretty and shiny. So today, instead of just letting it drip over the edge and sanding this side down again, we're using liquid latex. And all we're going to do, not we, all I'm Perfect. going to do is pour this all the way around the edge, if I can get it to come out. And I'm just going to let it dry, do the flood coat, and then we'll peel this right off so all those little drips won't be stuck to our board. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? No, I gotta spread it. So we're just going to spread it to the edge. Takes about half hour to dry. Look at those skills. Woo doggy. And then we will mix up some food grade resin. Everything's linked below if you want to know what I'm using on all this stuff. So what do we use on the back of that? Holly's oil is on here to make it nice and pretty. I'm almost out. That's why it's not coming out. Here we go. I'm going to reorder from my link below. <laughs> <laughs> An order from your own link, huh? It's going to be gorgeous. If anybody wants this, let me know. Unfortunately, it is not at cost. This took days and hours and hours and hours, but... Plus, we got a lot of money in the wood. 
lots of money in resin, lots of money in wood, lots of time, but it is available at the moment. I don't know. That depends on what it looks like when we get done. I don't know if I want to sell it. <laughs> I might want to keep it. <laughs> Can't keep everything. Okay, that should be good. All right. Hello, my love. What are you getting ready to do? Last thing to do. Well, second to last thing to do. What are you getting ready to do now? Blood coat this and then put the handles on and then we're done. Let's take a look at it before you flood coat it. It's going to be beautiful. I've got this little trowel with these little notches. That way we can get it like an eighth of an inch so it does um, self-level. Ready? I'm ready. <sighs> <laughs> I mix up seven ounces. I don't know how much we need. So we're going to start with this. Oh, that's going to look so good. I do want it to flow over the edges, but first I want to get it all over before I start messing it up on the edges. That's a lot. I know. Panda, come out here. All right, I'm just going to rub it so it starts flowing over. Our liquid latex will stop the drips. And then we'll torch. Spray alcohol on then torch, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the right... No, people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you are new, you do not do that. You know I do that. Torch first. All right. I think I got it all the way around. Paper towel. See, I have some leftover resin to figure out what to do with. I hate this safety button. This will help it lay down as well. Does it go to sleep after it lays down? It's going to sleep tonight. Shoot. What? Oh, there's a little opening there I gotta fix. There was one little hole that didn't get filled in with resin. It's a pizza, a pizza pie. It's a done. It's a done, a pizza pie. So we have her finished. It's a beauty. So what we did is we top coated it and I wasn't happy with the top coat. Because we, we forgot to seal coat it. Well, we yeah. had little, little little divots in it. Because we forgot reason. to seal coat it. It could be. But anyways, I didn't like the finish so we took all that, sanded all that back down and we went with the um, stone coat, stone counter coat top. countertop which is scratch resistant. And food safe. And food safe. So that is the finished product. It's beautiful. If you're interested in it, just email me. If you're interested in it, you have to go in the pool to get it. <gasps> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll on that? see you on the next one. Time to get busy. What's your next project? He doesn't know. I got no idea. <laughs> have a blessed day, guys. See ya.